Hello there once again from Sweden and welcome back to another pick a card reading. In today's reading we're going to take a look at who is your soul tribe and what is your mission. To do this reading I have prepared three different piles of decks that will be three separate readings and as always you just choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to and that will be your reading today. We will also take one additional card together that you get to see faced upwards and hopefully that will help you finding that right reading for you today. Okay let's do it. Oops. Yeah, I think that's one. I think that is for two. Yeah, and three. Okay, pile one, Raven. Pile two, wow, <laughs> strong cards. We have the Phoenix. Pile three, a secretary bird. Okay, that is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can just pause the video. Otherwise, please just scroll down to the comment section where you will find your timestamp um, to the pile that you have chosen and that will take you directly to your reading. Okay guys, I'll see you in your separate readings. Hello Pile One and welcome to your reading. Who is your soul tribe and what is your mission? And wow, you felt drawn to the beautiful raven here with this orange background. And wow, <laughs> your soul tribe is sure to be highly psychic, highly sensitive highly connected with uh, the mysteries and the truths of life. Uh, I think you have a soul tribe that are very special and unique in their energies. They are sure to be somebody that is easy separated from the crowd as some kind of, <laughs> maybe some kind of oddball, but definitely a unique character. They have their own personality. They, they have their own vibe, their own energy. And I feel that your <clears throat> the people in your soul, soul tribe are, uh, hmm, individual strong characters charismatic characters who has uh who really is on the spiritual path yeah really spiritually connected uh definitely spiritual connected have been walking on the spiritual path probably for a very long time uh, and has have always had that natural spiritual connection since childhood and and this also r regards you because you are you and your soul tribe you kind of have that same kind of energy i think you have very special interests uh, things that you naturally feel drawn to and um, a lot of yeah a lot of things in the spiritual world i think different things i think you have different interests and hobbies but definitely different definitely very strong interests uh in in some kind of a spiritual pursue uh maybe it's meditation maybe it's reiki maybe it's breath work maybe it's shamanism maybe it's uh, herbalism maybe it's uh, ayurveda maybe it's uh, uh, maybe it's plant medicine, whatever it is. I think, who I think you, your, your, your tribe has powers. I think you have a lot of. There's leader types in your in your tribe. It's not. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you are leaders. You are meant to to do something to maybe to to break ground, breaking ground, or just to. <sighs> How am I gonna say this? Like pave the path for other people's to to people to walk on. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you can't miss them. I mean, your soul tribe is really like, and because of 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 you guys being so highly open and intuitive, and I think empaths. 
uh, you will recognize each other immediately. I don't think there's a doubt between you guys that, okay, this is somebody in my soul trap. You really recognize each other, is what I feel. Uh, and, and definitely you have a lot of connection in past lives. And you have done a lot of things together, actually, through your lifetimes here on Earth. They're showing me so many things. You have, I think you have fun with your soul tribe. This is really like how, how, how you recognize them. You have fun together. You can be, you can let loose. Uh, you can let out all the, mm, you, you can really talk about deep spiritual things. And you can be very serious when you talk, but you can also like let loose and have fun with each other. That's how it feels. <coughs> Let's look at the rest of your oracle cards here. And we're going to put the tarot cards here a bit to the side. And you have, wow, light beings. <laughs> yeah, hmm, light beings. Yeah, you, you. You have really, I think you are really a pile one, your soul tribe, your light workers, your star seeds, you are the spiritual leaders. <coughs> and like <laughs> from inside out, you're like oozing spirituality. And, and <clears throat> I think that that is a big part of your life, like your whole soul tribe's life, your your mission here on earth uh, is, is ascending, is healing. Uh, and you have a connection, really a connection to high, higher vibrational beings on other planes and dimensions. And yeah, you are a star seed. You, you, you're not from Earth from beginning. And you have, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like this really strong bond of friendship between you. And probably... <coughs> Some of these people are already in your life. Mm -hmm. I think they are really. It's like your paths are inter. It's like uh, woven, woven. How do you say it? Your path goes together. It's like you're very individual as characters. You're very strong in your own soul energy. Very strong in your soul energy. You have your own paths. You had your own missions. You have your own. Uh, you have been expanding your souls and everything like that. But somehow your souls are like intertwined with each other uh, throughout lives here on earth and also lives that you had together uh, in other galaxies and dimensions and galactic civilizations before you came here to earth. So it's like your connection is so strong and it's such a, it's so, it's like a, Oh, you have been, your soul tribe has been with you for such a long time. That's what I'm trying to say here. Through so many lifetimes uh, and through so many soul experiences on so many levels. Um, so when you meet them, there is like an instant recognition. I think you have many of these people already in your life. Somehow in your life. And I think this is the people that you trust it's the loyal one it's the safe one yeah it's people that you trust like it's your it's it's friends it's really your friends it's like nothing could ever come between you because of this strong bond and probably you went through some things also together that strengthened this bond i mean there's always difficulties and things in life but it's like you've been there for each other um whatever happens and when somebody comes in in your soul tribe maybe somebody new that you haven't met yet that will be the same way there will be this instant bond of strong friendship and some kind of it just feels very safe uh and very home when you are with each other and there's like i think it's the communication like i don't know if they, with the raven here thinking about communicating it's like you communicate with each other on a whole different level <coughs> no maybe nobody understands you but your soul tribe they always understand you it's like when you're with somebody from your soul tribe you can communicate you are you feel understood you feel listened to you feel seen you feel loved 
And I think you're really helping each other heal. Wow, they're showing you now how you've been, you shaked hands. <laughs> you, 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 it's like, or you like holding hands. So whatever you heal in yourself, somehow that vibration helps. It's like you're ascending together. It's like you're healing together. So whatever you're doing, it's like you're doing it as really like a soul family, like a soul tribe, uh, affecting each other. So you are meant to share this journey on earth together here yeah mm. you have a very strong strong bond strong connection to your soul uh tribe and why we have <coughs> we have the violet flame here with amethyst and passion flower it says transmuting breaking addictions and nervous system uh, yeah, wow, and also with the violet flame, you know what, sun, I don't know, I had one a teacher a long time ago, a spiritual teacher, I think at the beginning of my whole uh, awakening here for, I think, about seven years ago. Anyways, she always said that she had a strong connection with Saint Germain, and she always said that Saint Germain comes as a raven, uh, as a, yeah, he disguised himself as a raven at times. And I mean, the violet flame is the flame of Saint Germain. It's the flame of uh, the, the age of Aquarius. And uh, um, it's all about transmuting. It's all about healing. Who you, you are, you really have strong energies in your soul tribe. It's like, I feel it's like you're masters. You can't miss your soul tribe. I mean, this is this is not going to be the ordinary people. Uh, not to put people in some kind of a hierarchy, but this is really somebody that is in their spiritual energy and very strong in their spiritual energy or has a very strong mission and has very special interests. Like, this is somebody that is like... It could be somebody... I'm, I'm getting like this... this um, hmm... I'm actually getting spaceships <laughs> and really the star seed galactic master energy here. So, uh, yeah, very, very, very dedicated to their spiritual cause. You are very dedicated to, 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 to your spiritual cause or that spiritual pull of whatever it is. And I think maybe you have different things in your soul tribe because you're such a strong individuals but there is like i said there is something binding you guys together there is some kind of a stronger bond and and this handshakes that i see that you have made an agreement to uh, as a soul family soul tribe you're sharing your experience of being a soul and expanding your soul and on earth and also on other other uh, you have done it also in other galaxies and dimensions and planes realms as i talked but wow, strong souls, definitely spiritual masters. We have hands here and we have, wow, panther. <clears throat> this is insane. There's a lot of like, you know, we have the black panther here. We have the raven here. We have the violet flame here. There is really, I feel really like you, you have, a, oh, you have a connection to spirit deep 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 spiritual truths like yeah uh, you are the real deal your soul tribe and, and you you are the real deal you are not doing the commercial <laughs> spiritualism <laughs> you are doing like the ancient uh, uh i don't know how to say it but you, it feels like you are doing the real deal like uh uh, hmm. like if you're doing some kind of a shamanism or things you've been doing it for so 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 many lifetimes you learned it from the when it started like in the ancient tribes in the jungle it's like you're really connected with the the roots of the birth of different types of spiritual truths and tools uh way back on earth but also like i said you have your soul is carrying spiritual powers abilities and talents and gifts from just being a very old galactic soul and 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 and, and it's like <laughs> i don't know what to say it's like you're you you have power you have power to transform yourself. You have power to inspire people, um, 
to help people transform their lives and to heal and you guys have power to transform the world it's like wow and i think it's like you're a bunch i, I just see you being a bunch of people here souls in your <coughs> in your soul tribe and it's not like you you all come from one place it's like you really like it's, it's you have you come from different places and somewhere somewhere along the along the soul journey it's like you meet up you met up at lyra and you met somebody maybe in the Arcturians, and you met somebody there and you met somebody in egypt and blah 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 and your path started to cross and and something like that and then you just become you 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 just became you you just became a soul tribe yeah you just became it was something that wasn't created to be a soul tribe uh like you didn't birth you didn't you didn't uh, because there is this theory that our soul families they they we that we came they we come kind of from the same energy and something and, and we we souls that births from the same type of energy but for you guys it's like you you along the way you became friends you became soul allies in in your journey to to so in, yeah in your journey just to expanding your soul and with all the missions and experience and everything that goes to it so you're really like a bunch that, that are picked you know what it's like oh wow okay i'm getting a message here wow this was so strong so what happened with your soul tribe here is you you it's like masters that gathered and together made a deal that's what that was what was with that handshake wow i'm getting it now okay so get you guys uh, oh how am i gonna how am i gonna channel this now i'm getting so much information bear with me please pile one so what happened is because i i keep feeling this individual individual energy of individualism like you as a soul were just you're you're such a you're such a big energy as a soul as separate souls you're such a huge energy you're holding such a strong vibration really being a galactic master uh, that has really atta that has already attained ascension maybe in different kind of uh, other kind of galactic civilizations and planets and things so you you were <coughs> you are already some kind of a master or everybody in your soul tribe has this energy but they had their own story to it so maybe you have one uh, uh archangel maybe you have some kind of a master that did something else and do you, you understand what i'm saying here it's like kind of a i'm so sorry my english is not uh, helping me right now <laughs> so you're kind of a, a puzzle a puzzle and every piece of the puzzle has its own strong ass vibration of being some kind of a master uh, but together you become this team you you become a strong team of masters that have a mission here on earth to support each other uh, in your soul expansions by facing karma by healing and things but also to transform uh, humanity transform earth uh, um, and help people heal help people ascend transmute uh, heavy dense collective energies and uh, <clears throat> all these things and i mean you have protection here with the black panther you had the raven here so you're really doing the you're do you are the i'm gonna say you are like the genuine light workers you are the oh i don't know what to say yeah the genuine light workers the true light workers the one who are no the, there's no bullshit with you guys you are old as hell <laughs> you are really old galactic souls i mean you are like the grand masters or something here so you are really you've been doing this for a long time and, and they're showing me like even like this i mean earth <laughs> it's like that is just one experience you and your soul tribe you have been doing this for kind of some time now and you've been incarnating in other civilizations and planets and you've done the same even there so that is what they're telling me here Hmm. yeah here i didn't even oh my god it took me so long to see because i was channeling so i wasn't even looking at the cards but hands i because <laughs> i keep seeing you shaking hands with each other look at this and even the rock and roll here you guys are a bit rock and roll i mean <laughs> i think that means rock and roll oh my god i'm so sorry if it doesn't um 
But you are really like badass. Yeah, badass light workers. Your soul tribe is badass light workers. Strong ass. Uh, sorry for swearing. Masters. You have some really like your spiritual powers, your abilities, and your gifts are really like something very special. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. You can't miss your soul soul tribe. I mean, they, they are the, they are really like. Uh, uh, sticking out in the crowd, in, in the spiritual crowd, in the every crowd actually, and they, they are really like uh, uh, strongly pursuing that spirituality because it's it, it is so strong in in your mission. It is it's like running through your blood and your bones. It's like who you are. You are a spiritual being. <laughs> you are a spiritual being. Yeah, you are a spiritual master here on earth on a mission, and and that is like. Whew, strong, strong in your energy. And uh, I think very like, uh, you think you're so, <coughs> so sharp, you're very protective of each other. And uh, also like really uh, honoring, I think, each other's differences, learning from each other, because I think you really have different kind of gifts and abilities and talents. Some things are very similar, but some things you have like your own special uh, touch on or w w w what I'm supposed to say here, but <laughs> yeah, hmm. And you're very, I think, <coughs> you're very awake. You have really have a high vibration. You're very awake. You're very conscious. You're aware of energies. Yeah, you're very aware of energy. You can feel. You're very highly. You really are empaths. But you're all. Oh, you can always feel the vibe in a room. The vibe around the person. If something happens in your auric field, you will know it. It's like you're really. You you are. You have that energy. You just have a whole, you, you guys just have a whole different view on life. It's like you really are, you already, you, you came to earth already spiritually awakened. Uh, and and uh, yeah, it's really, it's it's just written all over the cards here. And, and the, the energies just keep on saying that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at your tarot cards. And you have, wow, the star, wow. You guys are the leaders. You really are the leaders, the light workers, uh, the way showers, the, the frequency holders. And, and the star here, you are the, you are the light that are guiding other people to find, to awaken the light inside of, uh, inside of themselves. And to guide people, you're guiding people. Uh, to, to the light, mm, yeah, and you have Knight of Cups, wow, you have Nine of Wands, you have Justice, and finally Knight of Swords, so there's a lot of Knights here, we have two Knights here, so Knight of Cups and Knight of Swords, and Knights are always on a mission, They're, they have this, uh, uh, active uh, active energy masculine but yeah active masculine energy they're they're on some kind of a mission here and i mean knight of cups and knight of swords are on a mission to to share hmm yeah i think you're really like your your mission is to share love it's to share light it's to share truth it's to break through old dense energies help people break through all dense energies and maybe some of you are really like working with the I, because i'm getting like the shaman energy very strong here but really somehow maybe with your healing powers or you're doing something special here maybe just some kind of a special energy work that you know because of your gifts and abilities i think you have your own you have created maybe your own way of giving healing you have your own techniques because uh, because yeah because your soul carries so much um, knowledge and wisdom when it comes to, comes to um just you just have a lot of spiritual tools that you have gained through your soul's uh, journey so i think you're helping people really breaking through dense energies uh, and you have a lot of courage and I think at times like you really have to face dark energies in your like you and your soul tribe yeah you have a mission really to to transform those dark dense energies maybe that nobody else has the ability to do so or the power to do so but you have been doing it for so many uh, you have been doing it for so long it's this whole you know the whole <coughs> 
the whole galactic war between light and dark, you know, the Dracos and, and the this lizard energy and all these things. Uh, there is there is a galactic war between light and, and uh, the dark. On, on higher levels, I mean, uh, on higher levels, there's only love and light and oneness. But now we're talking a bit, uh, a couple more dimensions <laughs> uh, um, further down. And it, here we have this fight that is between light and dark. And you have been fighting the, the dark forces in different ways with your light, with your ability. So you you guys really have some kind of a mission here to transform those dense dark energies, the collective energies of Earth. And uh, uh, yeah, it's just in your history. It's in your in, in your Akasha. You, I can just see like the, the pr prints, the footprints of you walking. You've been walking for, for so, such a long time. I just see a book that never ends. They just showed me a book that opened and it, it was just, it never ends. They just keep on opening it and it's like, yeah, the pages never end. So it's like, they're showing me really like, whoo, your journey has been so long. Your journey has been so long. But your mission is really to help uh, Gaia to balance, uh, with the justice here, to balance its energies, uh, purge itself out of karma, purge itself out of dense energies and just collective energies, yeah. And nine of wands here, whoo, you guys are strong. You really have strength inside of you, yeah. Your soul tribe is strong characters that really has inner strength. You have a lot of inner strength. And I think you have to face a lot of darkness. It wouldn't surprise me if you <coughs> and the people in your soul tribe or had a lot of gener generational karma that you needed to to face, and and maybe it wasn't didn't maybe it didn't even have anything to do with you. Maybe you were just born into a family with some really heavy generational karma, uh, just because you as a soul had that ability to transform it. So you were born into that family to do some kind of a. Yeah, to transform that generational karma and, and by doing that, releasing that energy from, from Mother Earth, from Gaia and from the collective energy field. So you really have it. Like you're, you're you have, you, yeah, badass soul tribe, badass mission, really like diving into darkness uh, with some abilities and gifts and talents that are really out of this world. Yeah, this is really your soul tribe here. And you are there for each other you're protecting each other you are protected with you have so many light beings that are helping you and people you have you know souls in your soul tribe that is not uh incarnated with you this lifetime they are helping you from other dimensions they are helping you on from the other side or whatever we can call it uh so yeah hmm and you're spreading, yeah, you're meant, your your mission is to spread truth, to spread light, yeah, to help people heal, to show, I think, you know what, you're not so much for, <laughs> uh, hmm, you're not here to, I don't know how to say it. you're not here to be like everybody else. You're really meant to stand out from the crowd. You know, sometimes there's there need you know there's there there needs to be a leader. Sometimes there needs to be a leader that shows the way. So you're not meant to be one in the crowd. You are meant to be a leader. Like really, your your soul tribe is meant to show the way and to break ground. I don't know if that's the right way to say, it, but break. Breaking ground, yeah, break ground, break down things, rebuild things, dive into that darkness and transform it. So I really think you are not living as ordinary life. None of your, <laughs> none of your soul tribe is living an ordinary life or has some kind of an, actually, no, I really think you are oddballs. Yeah, badass oddballs. <laughs> that is your soul tribe, <laughs> pile number one. And that's, that is how you recognize them also. Yeah, really. And really some kind of a connection to spirituality that is very, very, very special. You you there you guys are no bullshit people. That's how I feel. Yeah, there is no bullshit with you. There's no fake friends. There is no 
uh, actually me and my my <laughs> I, we have a saying we call it kumbaya spirituality when it's like you know this more you know when, when spirituality becomes a part of one's identity yeah spiritual love and light and all these things and you're sitting in a circle singing kumbaya nothing wrong with that but you know sometimes you just like yeah love and light denying the feelings that you feel actually not liking somebody doing this whole spiritual bypassing thing um uh, which is what we named like kumbaya spirituality you guys are not kumbaya spiritual people you are badass people if you don't like somebody you will say that to them maybe not maybe not you're not saying that maybe you're not saying it to their face but if somebody doesn't match your vibration you're very clear or your soul tribe is very clear with putting that boundaries because you're very spiritual aware very you have a high consciousness you know what is what and you're very focused on your spiritual mission uh, and your why you came here to earth or what you want to do with your life so you're really no bullshit persons uh, or people here and uh, you you're not the persons that become friends with somebody just because uh, I think really like you, you, you don't have a problem with being alone, walking your own path, you know, traveling alone, doing your own thing. You're like, really, that you are such a uh, individualist, <laughs> individualist, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, you stand up for your truth, you really, and you know your truth, yeah, you don't doubt you don't doubt what is true or not. You really have that. You have some kind of a bullshit sensor, I think. Uh, and you know who you can trust and you know who you... You know who is conscious and who is not conscious or who is conscious enough for you. You, you can even recognize when somebody has a higher vibration than you or when somebody has a lower vibration with you. You really have that bullshit sensor or that vibrational sensor of knowing what is true and what is not true, what feels right, what doesn't feel right, what is your intuition saying, what is it not saying, what should you do, what should you not do. So you really are connected, like you and your soul tribe are so connected with uh, your spiritual mission, your individual mission to ascend, to heal, to work with your abilities, gifts and talents to fulfill uh, whatever your soul is here to do but it's it, like once again you are the true light workers you are the true healers um you are the genuine spiritual people so whatever you, you are meant to do it's really like strong it's strong in you i mean it's there <laughs> it's so strong your psychic gifts are so strong your healing is so strong your channel is so strong so it's like this is your whole life everything here is your whole life and once again, I think you have already have these people around you. Or if, you, if that doesn't resonate, this is your, if this doesn't really resonate, this is your potential, really your potential. Uh, so <laughs> maybe you're in the beginning of awakening this, but it feels like for many of you listeners that you already have this, you already know what I'm talking about here. Yeah. Mm, oh yeah. <clears throat> I didn't even see this, but on the panther card here, it says, Consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. Protection. Yeah, that's what I said. No bullshit, people. You don't, you really can, you can recognize an energy vampire. And you, you I think you're very good with putting that healthy boundaries and saying, oh, no, I'm not giving you my energy. <laughs> so, uh, and I think because of your being <coughs> really old souls, I feel a really strong connection to Lyra here. I just want to say that. Um, yeah, the galactic civilization of Lyra. So I'm just throwing that out here <laughs> if it resonates with somebody. Even also the Arcturians, I feel a strong connection to uh, Sirius. Uh, yeah. Anyways, and because of you being such a like strong character or strong soul, I mean, you are not scared of your voice. You are not scared of your power. You're not scared of your truth. There is something, I don't know, keep hearing badass there's something badass about you <laughs> that is uh yeah a bit rock and roll here you're a bit rock and roll <laughs> but very yeah very strong very strong energy very awake mm -hmm. okay pile one that was your reading i was stumbling a bit on the english today but i hope uh, i got the message through 
uh, yeah, if you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, I wish you all the best and hope to see you in my next reading. Goodbye, pile one. Hello, pile two, and welcome to your reading. Who is your soul tribe? What is your mission? And wow, what a card, the phoenix. And it's actually a pharaoh here in the background, making me think you guys definitely have a connection to uh, ancient Egypt, to Atlantis, to Lemuria. Uh, yeah, and I think you are really carrying, yeah, you know what? You are carrying really some strong spiritual, ancient, hidden mystery, mystic knowledge. Yeah, mystic knowledge. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're going to put your tarot cards a bit to the side here and we're going to look at your... Uh, you know what I'm getting? <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting. This, But maybe your soul tribe... I don't know, I just see dark hair. Yeah, dark, dark hair. And I think really you have connection with, like I said, definitely Egypt. I think really like the ancient civilization of hum yeah ancient human civilization like Mexico, uh, China, India, uh, Egypt, uh, Mesopotamia. I don't know if I said that, but really like a uh, Greece. Woo! Really like this ancient cultures. You guys have a lot of knowledge, a lot of spiritual knowledge, just a lot of mystical knowledge. Uh, you are very intelligent. There's a lot of, yeah, really intelligent, knowledgeable people in your soul tribe that really, this actually like, just right, like, uh, right off the bat, it really reminds me of the energy of, the energy of pile one. So if you did feel drawn to pile one, I think it could also resonate for you guys. So if you feel like watching pile one, that is up to you, but I wanted to say that. Um, but with the Phoenix here, I think your soul tribe has been through, you are people that has been through a lot in your life. You have been, you have raised up really like a phoenix. You have faced suffering and hardships and really I think a strong awakening, some kind of a strong awakening happened to you guys. Uh, I think this is something you share that you can talk about. Uh, you're definitely awakened, you're definitely on the ascension, you're definitely working on your uh, spiritual uh, mission, path, uh, call, passion, whatever it is that is pulling you forward. And I'm just getting wounded healers. I think, yeah, there's this energy of being a wounded healer that through your own suffering and pain, there is this uh, inner ambition to help other people to free themselves from the same tax, from, from suffering and pain. So you're really a wounded healer here. And I think that makes you very, people are very attracted to you guys, to your energy. There's something very, there's something very healing with your energy. And it's like people know that you guys can give healing. They know you can you can help them. So I think at, some t at times people really are drawn to you to get healing from you. Mm, or just like maybe they don't even know why they're drawn to you. They just want to be your friend. They want to be maybe a part of your soul tribe even because of, they feel that it's very special. <clears throat> I feel a very strong, very, 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 very strong soul tribe here. And I think it's it's a very closed circle also. I don't think you... Um, you don't let people in that easy in your soul tribe because it, it's very connected. <laughs> I don't know, they're showing me like really roots. You're very connected down to the roots. <laughs> So it's like, yeah, it's a very closed circle. It's a very strong circle. So you're not very open, I think, to to hmm, to let people in. And if you meet somebody in your soul tribe, it's going to be very, you're going to feel at home and it's going to be that instant connection and it's just going to feel right. You're just going to know that you're in the same soul tribe. <clears throat> and even people, you know, maybe you have people in your soul tribe that you're not meant to... I don't know how to say that. It. It's just like, I, I just feel like it, it is a close circle, but it's also very big in some way. It's a bit of strange energy here. So it's like, it's, uh, 
Hmm. There's a lot of people connecting with your energies. You know what your soul tribe is? You're some kind of a frequency holder for some kind of a very strong ancient spiritual energy that already started um, back in the days of Lemuria and Atlantic before its fall. And then, uh, and you know, after Atlantic fall, the, 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 the souls, uh, the spiritual <laughs> development uh, on earth continued, you know, in this old ancient civilizations, you know, like I said, uh, um, I'm getting Maya and Inca here also, the energy of Maya and Inca. So you guys, you, you, you've been like, really like, uh, you've, <laughs> I just see your footprints in this ancient civilizations. That's what I'm saying. So you guys have that, those footprints and it's like, there's one kind of an inner circle. So your soul tribe is holding the energy, but you also have connection with a lot of other people, but they're not like kind of in that inner circle. <laughs> I hope you guys understand me. <clears throat> it's a bit like being, you know, maybe like you, maybe uh, like being like me, like doing readings like this on YouTube. It's like, uh, I have my little spiritual tribe. I mean, we're not many people. We are very, like a very close circle, but I also connect with so many people that are watching my readings that resonates with my energy. This is some kind of the feeling. So maybe your, your, your spiritual tribe is holding the energy, really being some kind of a frequency holder, but you also have connection with a lot of people like all around earth that are also light workers and spiritual souls that are on some kind of a same mission as you but the closest people to you are you're not i don't think you're not yeah i don't think you're that many uh hmm very but very strong very strong bond here between you and I, once again i don't think you let new people into that tribe very easy uh not because you don't like people it's just because of your holding a very special vibration, I think. It's a bit, hmm, it's very, it's very old <laughs> somehow. So it's like, I, I don't know, it's doing, it's, you're doing your own thing. That's just it. You're just doing your own thing. And, and it's very, <coughs> it's very strong in doing its own thing. So it's not very open for, uh, Detours, yeah, it's very focused energy. So you're not very open to doing detours. You're just very focused on your mission. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Once again, I've been sick. Uh, you're very focused on your mission and holding your energy. So that is what I feel here. So let's look at the rest of your Oracle cards. And you have, okay, we have Fern here and Akasha. Stromatolite, I have no idea what that is. Uh, and Fern, I know what it is. Akasha, strip back and simplify. Look to your origins. Yeah, you <laughs> you guys are really like, hmm. you came here together, you know what? I think you guys came to Earth together. <coughs> As a, <coughs> yeah, you guys came here to Earth together. That's what it feels like. So it's really like back to the roots. You're like this uh, native, you're like a native family. <laughs> uh, mm. And Akasha, okay, let's look at the rest of your cards here. We have Bless, wow. We have Hedgehog with Acceptance. Uh, and Ask Your Soul. Let's see here. That right here, yeah. Hmm. Acceptance. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think you are very like. <laughs> you're very <laughs> with a hedgehog here. I mean, you're very strong. Uh, and I think you're you 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 guys are very open to. Hmm. You're, you're just very focused on what you're doing is what I feel here. Very focused on what you're doing. And, and I think your, your guy's mission is really to spread love. There's a very strong connection with the heart chakra here uh, also. And you know what? I think there's a lot of healing in your soul, soul tribe. Like you, like once again, like I said, the wounded healer. I think 
the souls in your soul tribe really had to go through traumas and hardships and suffering and really heal he really healed himself and there's because whew, you had so many lives here on earth there's yeah i think you guys are carrying a lot of heavy karma from previous lifetimes really heavy karma um strip back and simplify so you've really been purging here you yeah you, you've been purging a lot i think and i think that the first part of your mission as a soul tribe like i said one mission is really to hold some kind of a some kind of a very strong spiritual frequency uh that you guys as on a soul level really can hold but i think on, a, on another level as a being a human uh, that have incarnated here so many thousands of years you have a lot of karma and I think another part of the mission is to being that support for each other, helping each other, accepting each other, loving each other. It could be twin flames in this pile, it can be really soulmates in this pile that you have in your soul tribe. So you, you guys are helping each other heal by accepting each other, by being there for each other. And I love like because of the hedgehog, you know, with the, with the pikes here on the back or spikes or what's the name is. <laughs> uh, it's like, I think the world has hurt you in some way and now you are teaching each other to trust again and to love again and to open your heart again and to heal again. You really are the wounded healer pile number two. Yeah, really wounded healers. Mm -hmm. But, but with, with uh, wounded healers with a lot of spiritual connection uh and strength mm. and and i think i just feel like yeah i think you guys really have some kind of a fears to transmute inside of yourself during this lifetime and i think your soul tribe is really there for you uh, loving you helping you and there is this feeling of like really like when you guys are with each other everything becomes easier lifting each other supporting each other guiding each other uh and you are meant to to help each other yeah you're really meant to help each other through this phoenix i mean phoenix rises from the ashes after being i mean burned down so i mean that is kind of a intense so really you you're you're going through intense yeah pile number two you guys are doing the intense healing this lifetime breaking down karma breaking down gen maybe generational karma but really there's some kind of a deep hurt inside of you guys um i love like the hedgehog because all of the cards here are a bit i don't know what the, the hedgehog card here sticks out a bit you know with this beautiful green it feels like free it feels like open so i think you're helping each other opening and healing the heart chakra and i think you guys have very strong heart chakras i really do think yeah mm, when you open up that heart chakra wow you and when you do that it's kind of you you guys are integrating the soul then and you become very strong you're very strong very strong heart chakra very sensitive souls in pile too I, f I just feel like I just feel like a mixture of energies that are like whew, okay this was intense so I think you guys had an intense life I think all of you in, in your soul family had an intense life <laughs> really an intense life yeah mm. Mm. okay let's look at your uh, tarot cards here and we have the hermit <laughs> yeah that makes sense that really makes sense, yeah. I think you are really working with your healing. Uh, and uh, yeah, your soul tribe are, are people that has been hurt, that has suffered, uh, but that, are, that has a wonderful energy, really like a very sensitive energy, very highly connected with the spiritual source. <clears throat> And really focuses on working with the self. Really, yeah, there's a focus on healing and working with themselves. And I think your soul tribe is the one who gets you out. Like they can make you come out of your shell in some way. 
not being means being scared you really help each other heal mm. Mm. we have king of cups wow from the hermit to the king of cups and we have princess of wands we have uh, here and we have knight of swords princess of wands and the hierophant I think Princess of Wands is Page of Wands. Page of Wands, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Knight of Swords, the Hierophant. Very, there's very, like I said, it's your soul tribe. You guys really have a awakening with the Hierophant here. This is spiritual awakening happening for you. And I think it's like really like you had a life before the awakening and then it was a life after the awakening. And I think maybe you got or are getting getting that connection with your spiritual tribe after your awakening because it feels before your awakening it feels like you are going through this whole karmic cycle of facing suffering and and uh, yeah, karma, facing karmic relationship and situations that you need to balance in some way. Hmm. Yeah, King of Cups. It's all about healing. It's really all about healing in your soul tribe. He helping, helping each other heal. And I think in your in, in your so a part of your, like I said, a part of your thing is here, first healing yourself and then I, I can't really see your mission, what comes afterwards. But I think it's really something, because there's so much focus on your healing in these cards now. Really like healing yourself is the biggest focus here and kind of opening up your heart here. Uh, regaining, ask your soul, it makes me think of really integrating back, integrating your soul uh, taking back your power, taking back your gifts, realizing your abilities, realizing your talents, uh, getting that connection with source. But you guys are definitely, like I said, like the biggest thing that you're doing, I think, is just being a frequency holder. And I think that could even be without even knowing that that is what you're doing. And maybe you don't even have, maybe you haven't even met your soul tribe. And you guys are doing this in different parts of the world or the city or the country you're living in. Maybe you haven't met them yet. But you are just by, somehow you're connected on a spiritual level. So you're kind of doing this work together. Uh... Yeah, there, that is one kind of energy here. And for some of you, you have these people in your life or some of the people here in your life. But I just feel sadness. I feel so much sadness. I just feel, yeah, so much sadness and hardships. And I really feel the energy of Phoenix, like burning down and ra rising up, really rising up. And uh, uh, I think... You are meant to share both the bad times together that, that you do when you go through the healings. I mean, healing is not healing is not pretty. I mean, healing is messy. <laughs> it is a, it is a mess. I mean, it, it is really a mess to heal and work with yourself. Yeah, it's not love and light and kumbaya. It, it is really messy. Uh, it's messy. It's crazy. It's it's a roller coaster. It's like emotions can be running high. It can be good. It can be bad. And you're sharing this with each other here, really sharing the good and sharing the bad. But I think you're really meant to share the good with the bless bless here. I think you are meant to reach that point together where you're kind of a per you're doing this big purge and going into some kind of a easier life together. And there is some, I just feel, I just keep hearing frequency holder. Actually, that's almost the only information that I get. Holding frequency is what you do with your soul. And that might sound like a, like, I don't know, maybe it's a boring mission or it's just like a, because it's not really doing anything. It's just holding that strong energy, but, but you can really do it. And I think, I think there's something else that is coming. And I don't know why, you know what? They're not showing me it. They're, yeah, okay, I'm getting it now. Like, why, why am I not getting the information? So I'm not really getting the information. And you know what? They're, they're kind of telling me it's kind of a surprise. So I think we're just gonna, 
leave it to that. Like the, the mission is some kind of a surprise. But what I see is I see a lot of happiness. I see abundance. I see a spiritual retreat actually or center something like that. So you you definitely do have you definitely do have uh, a spiritual mission to do something like that in the future. But the mission is also to heal, uh, to be there for each other, to hold that deep frequency of healing. Yeah, you know what you guys are doing. Yeah, you're really holding that frequency of healing for other people because because when you're doing, when you're going through the fire, you know, and, and this whole process, the whole phoenix uh, transmuting yourself and transforming yourself, you're kind of, you're holding that energy for other people. And you know what? You're doing a lot of downloads of energies as well, I feel, in your soul tribe. Yeah, a lot of downloads, you know, ascension energies, and, you know, we have planets, retrogrades, and planetary events <laughs> every day, it feels like, almost. So you're really holding that energy. And and, and for some of you, if you, I just feel like it's like... Uh, I just feel like you're doing it together with your soul tribe on an energetical level. Even if you don't have them in your life, you're kind of... You're, you're really connected on an energetic level. And I think you you have some kind of a telepathic abilities. So you can really talk with each other. Your souls, ask your soul, oh yeah. <clears throat> your souls, there's this, this whole grid work. You're really like connected with each other and connected with the planetary grid work that is working with the human ascension. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. So you can tap into those energies. That's what I'm getting here. You can tap into that grid work and get that help. Uh, but I don't think, honestly, Pied 2, I don't think you need to download more energies. I think your soul is really like uh, doing it for you. There's a lot of things happening for you. Oh my God, sometimes pile number two, you don't even know what's happening because there is so much things happening. I think it's hard for you sometimes to know like what is going on? I really think at times it can be a really a roller coaster for you guys. Uh, pile number two. Wow, really a roller coaster. And it's like sometimes it's just bliss and maybe good, and you feel connected and you feel strong. And sometimes hell just breaks loose, and you're like, what is going on? And you really, it's just because you're doing the spiritual downloads. Because of you have you have this strong connection. I'm getting this Atlantic energy again. Atlantis, I mean. You have this strong connection back to ancient Egypt, back to Atlantis, back to Lemuria. So you're really like, once again, frequency holders. You guys came here. You're holding the energy for humanity. That is your mission. That is really your mission. Yeah. And the other mission that comes further along the path, like I said, having some kind of a spiritual center, maybe doing healing, maybe, you know, traveling, maybe sharing love and light in different ways, whatever you're doing. I think that is also part of your mission, but it's not the big, the big part that you're doing is that you're holding the energy for humanity. And you know what, pile number two, that is some strong energies to hold. I mean, to download an anchor, anchor, yeah, anchor, to download an anchor, high vibrational ascension energies that are meant to break uh, to break to break open people's crown chakras and to like raise the vibrations to raise the consciousness that is strong energies that you're holding and that's why you know when you're downloading these energies for humanity all hell can break loose in your own life. Your physical body maybe starts aching and you're you know, puking or purging and you have headaches and you have pain in your body and you know, uh, you can't sleep maybe. Sometimes you're like all speed up and sometimes all you can do is sleep because of this high energy. So you're really like a downloader. Yeah. Wow, this was so cool. And you're doing this work together with your spiritual tribe your soul tribe you're doing it together you're connected through some kind of a grid work where you're doing this together so whatever happens to you also happens at the same time to your to your uh yeah to so you to your soul family to your soul tribe mm -hmm. and that's why it feels also like you have so that's why i said i think you have some kind of a people like people some of them in your life now but you are many you are so many in the soul tribe 
yeah, it's like you're like, I don't know why, maybe 10,000, maybe 100,000 people of l light workers, star seeds and soul that came. I mean, how many people were living in, in Atlantis? I have no idea, maybe millions or something. So all of this awakened soul, you know what? You are connected with all the light workers of the world. That is what you're, you are. Uh, yeah, you're really holding the energy, helping each other here, awakening each other. This is such a beautiful energy, <laughs> such a beautiful mission, pile number two. Hmm, yeah. Whew, okay, let's see if we can see something else here. Knight of Swords, there yeah, are courage inside of you with Knight of Swords. But that really tells me like really breaking, breaking dense energy, breaking karma. Hmm, you are holding the key here. You're downloading keys for so many people. You're downloading keys for humanity. Yeah. And Hermit here, I think it's a time seed. Like, <clears throat> a time pile number two, you really need just to like go into that Hermit stage because it's. I think it could be overwhelming for you with all the energies and the upgrades and downloads and purges and things that is going on so there's really like a need to go into hermit stage and you know what that is completely the right thing to do for you to go into that hermit stage uh, to rest to integrate the energies and because as i said because i think there is some trauma inside of you guys some suffering and some karma that you're healing at the same time <coughs> and because of because of your downloading, because of being a frequency holding, down, downloading the heavy, uh, downloading the strong energies, it becomes very intense for you because at the same time you have your own karma to deal with. So it's, I think it's very intense for you guys, <laughs> really intense. Like you're really feeling the, you're really feeling the ascension. <laughs> I mean, like some people, you know, it feels like they don't even get affected, but you are in the front row. You're like getting all the, <laughs> the, the, the most intense energies is coming to you. <laughs> you're like holding that frequency. You're such a, uh, I'm going to say brave soul. Yeah, really brave soul. But you have a lot of strength inside of you guys. You really do here. Hmm. Hmm. And there's a lot of maturity also in you. I mean, with the King of Cups here, you guys are strong. I mean, even if you're, it's some, at times you're like, you, at times it feels like you're, it's too much. I mean, it's just too much. <laughs> Things happen and it becomes too much. But you're strong. You're, you're still strong. You're like really like connected with some kind of a source energy. That's what I'm saying. So there's really some kind of a strength inside of you. There's really some kind of a strong spiritual connection. Um that holds you steady even when you don't feel steady at all it's like you kind of a uh, you kind of come back to being uh it's like you don't lose yourself that's how it feels here and if you do you have your soul tribe you're kind of you're helping each other remain that balance you're guiding each other listening to each other helping each other supporting each other mm. okay <laughs> Pile number two, that was your reading today. Um, yeah, if you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and leave a comment in the comment section. I I really wish you all the best on your journey. I can really see at times it is really like, ooh, intense for you guys, but it seems like everything is under control. You are doing what you are supposed to do. So everything looks fine. Just keep up the work. Okay, pile number two. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile three, and welcome to your reading. Who is your soul family? What is your mission? And you felt drawn to the secretary bird. It also says, be rid of your enemies. And the bird here is stomping on snake here. Hmm. Okay, let's put it there. We're going to put your tarot cards to the side. And we're gonna look at maybe <laughs> just <laughs> okay. This is kind of a strange message. I'm thinking here with the tall legs here. Maybe there's something your soul tribe, the members of your soul tribe, have really nice legs, <laughs> or maybe they're tall in some way. There's something with their body. Maybe tall. Maybe very lean. Uh, yeah, lean or very like has a very. Uh, yeah, really lean body in some way. Hmm, maybe athletic even. 
athletic people. And it likes to run maybe or something like that. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna look at the rest of your tarot oracle cards here. You have inward revolution. Okay. Inward revolution. We have uh, septarian noodles with way shower, shake up the system, cellular upgrade. This is very interesting. We have inward, re we have revolution here and we have shake up the system. So it's really like rebels. Like I think your soul tribe is like somebody that can use their voice <laughs> to share the truth. This is somebody that likes to talk. I, yeah, people that likes to talk. I think it's people that are confident. I think it's people that likes to talk. I think you guys talk a lot or yeah. And with the, I just see like we have this DNA uh, strings here. And it, it says seller upgrades here also uh, on this card here. So I think you are really like, hmm, meant to shake up the system, break down old things and help uh, the humanity and society to, to go through some kind of a, change yeah to go through some kind of change be rid of enemies here to i don't know start a re revolution yeah you guys are people that started revolutions in the past and maybe are starting revolutions together in some way or like fighting for what is right you have a lot of fight inside of you i think pile number three uh fighting for justice fighting for what is right fighting for a change or speaking up for change uh, in some way sharing truth. There's really strong throat chakra here. The throat chakra is very active in your um, soul tribe here. Hmm, yeah. Starting change in people on a cellular level. Downloading energies really here. Uh, but you're doing some kind of humanitarian work or planetary work, helping Mother Earth, helping the planet like yeah helping the planet helping maybe cleaning up the oceans maybe uh, helping animals you're very connected to 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 mother earth really helping and like shaking up really like changing society in some way pointing out what is not working you're not the people that, that are keeping their mouth shut <laughs> you're really sh trying to show the way of how things are supposed to be uh, I think you're very easily offended and, and triggered by injustice. Like if you see something that is unjust or if you see animals suffer or people suffer, you are going to be the ones who stands up. You are the ones who start who starts a revolution uh, and who wants to somehow create change. Uh, you are not the people that are sitting quiet in their homes and just like doing like uh, everybody else <laughs> or like what society expects from you. You are the one who goes, to, when everybody goes right, you're gonna go left uh, just because you want to see why, why nobody goes left or something like that. So you are really going, walking your own, uh, yeah, just walking your own, yeah, walking your own path here. We have birth, and we have whale with tenderness. Show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. Hmm. But with birth here, it's really like, yeah, birthing new things, changing things, birthing things. I really think, I don't I just feel like your guys, your soul tribe, like you have a, uh, a, a loud voice or like your voice is very clear. It's very strong. It's very, mm, people hear when you guys talk or when you share your truths you can also be like maybe singing or music or something like that but definitely sharing sharing what is true for you uh in some way and when you do that people listen to you guys and i think there's really like there's a lot of different kind of energies here i mean with the whale and tenderness and the secretary bird here it's like you're both soft and strong <laughs> so i think there's a lot to your your energy hmm. you know what let's look at your tarot cards here also 
We have two of wands. Yeah, creating change in the world. That is what you do. That is really your mission. Your mission is to create change in the world by by protecting uh, maybe the, the oceans, the sea life. Definitely protecting Mother Earth in some way. Really working for protecting Mother Earth. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the rest of the cards here. We have the Hanged Man. Yeah, making people see things from a new perspective. <clears throat> you are the chain. You are really like the. <laughs> you are the rebels. I, I just keep hearing like you have a loud voice. Like you're gonna be seen. You're gonna be heard. You're gonna be there on the street screaming. Like if that is necessary. <laughs> You are really like, um, hmm. there is a strong energy to you. I mean, I just feel like this strong Aries uh, energy, strong Leo energy here. It's like, uh, yeah, Aries, Leo, Aquarius, uh, Sagittarius energy here also. Like really like being out there, making a change. You are not going to be quiet. You are like the rebel. You are the, you're the one, once again, starting a revolution. You guys are the one leading people and telling people, hey, we have to do something. We have to start a change. We have to do something. So you have a very strong mission. There's a lot of fire in this energy here. Very strong mission here. Uh... And, and you have each other to fulfill this mission. And you're very alike. I mean, your soul tribe and you, you're like, really like, what do you say? Peace in a pod. <laughs> you're so similar to each other. And this is how you recognize your soul tribe. You are meant to do this mission together. You're meant to create change in the world. You're meant to birth the new society, the new community, the new way of doing things. Uh, educating maybe people even hey we shouldn't throw plastic in the oceans like you're really doing that you're you're out there that's what I'm saying you're really out there doing things um, yeah shaking things up changing things making people see in a new way starting a whole movement of enlightenment <laughs> or awakening <laughs> who you are some really like I think also yeah with the rid of enemies I think you guys could really collect some enemies along along the way you know the people who doesn't want to change or or like uh, people who wants it yeah i mean people who doesn't want to change i think there could be some fight against greed and corruption and and, and you know po politicians and you know old ways of doing things and you're the one who's you you guys are the ones who chain yourself to the trees like just so they won't uh, take down like the rainforest or something like that that is the energy that i'm getting here <coughs> it could also be like you've done this in past life but with the whale i love that we have the whale here in tenderness showing that you're not doing it because of because you want to fight you're not doing it because you're interested in conflict you're doing it because of because it's in your mission to be this kind of an indigo energy here indigo soul to be this loud voice that screams and tells everybody it's enough. We need to change our way of doing things. We need to do things in a different way. Uh, but once again, with the whale here in the tenderness, you are very highly connected here. So you're really following your intuition and in, in, in your... Uh, yeah, what you feel is right, what is right for you. And you're really strongly driven by not seeing injustice, seeing things that are bad and not doing something about it. You really want to do something about it. And once again, your soul tribe, you guys have the same energy here. <laughs> so like, it's like you're doing your whole mission here together. When you meet each other, it's just going to be like, nobody can stop you. I mean, <laughs> one of you is like, one of you is loud, like five, six of you, whoo, poor whatever that comes in your way that you have decided to break down i mean it doesn't stand a chance it's gonna be breaking down you're gonna get rid of those enemies you're gonna birth that new thing some balance up that energies and do good for for the planet <coughs> for the animals for people or whatever you have uh, whatever mission you are on for the moment here hmm yeah and with a whale here i think also in in 
yeah, I just feel like you have a you have a special way of communicating uh, that makes you have the you know what you guys have the gift of communication. You can use your you can use words. You, it's like you're choosing your words with care. You, there's a, you guys are very intelligent, and uh, uh, you have what it takes to do this mission. You really do. You have what it takes. Yeah, you have ambition. You have power. You have the voice. You have the, the the skills of communicating in a way that you are heard and people hear you from all kinds of class and and types of people. So you can really make your voice heard. And there is some kind of a because of I think you 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 guys have been doing this together. You have started many revolutions in the past together. You and your soul tribe. So. It's like kind of in your <laughs> energy, you feel home by doing this. So, uh, and I think people feel that in you. It's like when you come there and it's like, woo, okay, this is somebody we should listen to. <laughs> Very strong energy here. Uh, we have 10 of wands. Wow. Yeah, it's a really, uh, could be a burden to bear, but you're ready to, to carry it. I mean, 10 of wands is somebody that carries it 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 sees it sees what needs to be done it sees that it's a lot but it says hey if i if i'm going to do it if i don't do it who's going to do it you're really kind you guys are very strong and you're very dedicated to the cause yeah you have a cause and you're dedicated to the cause really dedicated to the cause and look at you you're two of you here usually in <coughs> <coughs> In all the Ten of Wands cards that I've seen, it's always only been one person. But look at this Ten of Wands. You're actually two here carrying your watermelons. So you're really doing it together. Uh, you're like, hey, okay, they don't have any food here in the village. Okay, let's bring some food. We know it's it's hard. We know it's going to be... We're going to meet some people that doesn't want us to give them food or whatever. But we're going to do it. So you're very strong in... Oof, you're two of two source, wait. <laughs> two of source and five of pentacles. Yeah, helping people. Really helping people out of poverty, helping people out of pain and suffering. And I think you are really like the humanitarians, um, pile number three, doing humanitarian work, doing good, serving people, serving humanity, really serving the, the people that are suffering, the animals that are suffering, the forests that are suffering, anything that is suffering and that is being, I don't know, being polluted by uh, the old way of doing things. You're changing this. Hmm, two of Swords, like really nothing can stop you here with the Two of Swords. Uh, I mean, you are walking here up with your watermelons. I mean, Two of Swords comes here and say, no, you cannot walk here because blah, 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 because of this and this. <laughs> because of some political reason, you cannot give these poor people food. Or something like that. But you're, you guys... Because of that strong voice of truth that you have, you have you can gather allies and people listen to you and, and you you make a change. You're meant to make a change in the world and your soul tribe here. Maybe you have uh, even you have another. I think you have maybe another soul family also. Some that that is closer to you in another way. That is more more. There's another energy here that I'm getting. But this soul tribe that comes up here, it's. It is a specific amount of people here. I think it's five, six or how many you are. Maybe it's more, who knows. But you are, this because it came out so strong here, this soul tribe that you're connected with, this is your mission together. You have this energy and this mission of doing this. Uh, but once again, I think also you have another type of soul family. I think we have many soul tribes and family, uh, may maybe not many, but some of us has, but you definitely have. You have, once again, soul tribe that is doing this mission. And, and this is because it came up here. Uh, but I just wanted to mention that, that you also, I think you also have another soul family <laughs> that has another energy. So maybe you haven't met these people yet, or maybe when you guys meet, it, this is just going to activate and you're like, yeah, I want to do good now. I want to help uh, clean up pollution in the oceans and or I want to spread the truth. I want to change this. I want to help people that are suffering, that are living in poverty, that is, that is starving. 
uh, there is so many things to, to help the world with. So you are really, when you guys come together, this mission activates. Uh, oh yeah, cellular upgrades. It's an activation that's gonna happen in you. Maybe it's already happened. Or it's definitely going to happen when you meet these people. It's like you, when you guys come together, it's just going to be some kind of a big activation and some kind of big birth. It's just going to be so clear that this is what you're going to do. And it can be something big, it can be something small, but it's definitely going to be something that makes a change for uh, human beings, for animals or for the planet on the, on the, on the actually... Uh, yeah, it's really going to make a change. It's going to do good. It's going to it's going to feel good for you to do this because I think there's something in your energy that wants to give, that wants to help, that wants to serve, that because that wants to start a revolution because you have that energy in you. <laughs> you have that energy. In you once again I'm, I'm, I, maybe you are some of you are Sagittarius once again or Aries or Leo or Aquarius um uh, energy that I'm feeling here <laughs> but you definitely have that power of wanting to there's a restlessness inside of you like ordinary life and ordinary mission is not good for you you want to dig you want to see change in the world you want to do something you are really like the person once again that could tie yourself to a tree in the rainforest and standing there and saying no I'm not gonna eat I'm not gonna move so you cannot put down another tree in the rainforest I will not allow it um and you could really like go to somewhere where children are starving and really carrying that heavy load yourself to give them food. You're such a humanitarian pile number three. You guys have such a, yeah, tenderness. You have such a sweet energy. You really care for for doing good. You want to do good. You want to create change. Uh, and I think you, you it's hard for you to see suffering. It's hard for you to see animals suffer. It's hard for you to see people suffer it's hard for you to see harsh energies and and uh, it's like <clears throat> you cannot stand it it's this it's just in your in your whole energy to fight injustice you could never i don't i think even since you were a kid maybe if you saw somebody being bullied or something uh i think you were not the one who, who shut up like you you were really the one who stood up <laughs> and uh, uh yeah, you stand up for the weak one. You stand up for the people who doesn't have a voice. And I think this is growing inside of you. This is becoming stronger. And this energy becomes stronger and stronger inside of you. The more you have healed, the more you're activating this part of your soul's mission. <clears throat> the more you can come, the more you connect with the soul tribe of this. Uh, uh, yeah, the soul tribe that is sharing the same mission as you also the souls that you have done revolutions in the past you you've gone through many revolutions in the past you have done this so many times in the past uh, hmm. Hmm. yeah you know what we're gonna take three more cards i just felt like doing that <coughs> we're gonna do yeah let's do this one okay Let's take three more, three last cards here for pile three, just to get some last messages. Hmm. I think we we'll do that one. And one last card. Oh yeah. So the camera just shut down here, but I'm back. So let's see, we have three tarot cards with some last messages for you guys. And we have four of pentacles. Wow. Yeah, you know what? You guys are really meant to break down your, <laughs> that energy of greed. You're, I think you're really fighting like the, the whole economic structure. And you know what I realized actually, I, I thought this was five of pentacles, but actually this is four of pentacles. So you have four of pentacles twice here. So you're really, yeah, you're really fighting against greed, against uh, some really, some people that wants to, I don't know what, they want to keep it all for themselves. Uh, and I think one of one part of your mission is finding funding for your, yeah, for your mission, finding fundings for your missions here. Uh, and I think it's really going to be a bit of a, um, 
it's gonna be a bit of a struggle but somehow you guys are gonna pull it through that's what I feel you're really gonna make a change here but it's gonna be a whole it's gonna be a bit of a fight but you know what you like that <laughs> you need that I think you need to be able to and somebody needs to do it I mean somebody needs to uh, somehow speak up and change the world so somebody needs to do that work and you guys you have the ability to do it so you're gonna do it here we have eight of sword yeah blocked energy stagnant energies um <clears throat> people looking the other way like the the rainforest is gonna be burned down but people are like oh yeah okay they don't see anything so you're like opening people's eyes sharing truth opening people's eyes making them see things eight of ones you are the saviors pile number Three, you're really the saviors, saviors of earth. You are not light workers, you are light warriors. That's what you are, pile three. Yeah, light warriors fighting for what is right. Uh, really fighting what, for what is right. You are down, you are there, you're out there. That's what you are. You're out there doing the work and uh, saving the planet, <laughs> saving the animals. Uh, doing whatever you feel is right and you're doing it with a lot, a lot of you guys have a lot of passion you have a lot of ambition there's a lot of focus inside of you uh, you are you have a message of truth inside of you and you're not gonna be quiet nobody can quiet you guys down nobody can stop your mission here uh, you have really been a rebel in your past lives <laughs> you have done so many so much change in your past lives but you really have this rebel energy and I love that we got eight of the one eight of ones here because I was feeling this fiery energy all the time here throughout your reading here mm. okay pile three that was your reading today uh, if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel hit the like button leave a comment in the comment section either way I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time Goodbye, Baltry.